Dadcast Radio. Radio Dadcast. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So that last song we heard was Shatterhand. No. Fuck. Gosh. Wait. Yes. That's Son of a bitch. Hand. All right, so we start over. <laughs> Gadcast Radio. Radio Gadcast. Okay. Shit, I hit the table. <laughs> Damn. Fuck. I'm about okay. to take that fucking book from you. So that last song that we listened to was Shatterhand. What was the name of that song? Talk Show Mentality. By Shatterhand. That's a band from Scotland. They're, they were on Unsane Asylum Records. We've acquired a bunch of their their material. Yeah, they've got a really uh, slick looking, um, like I guess it's a seven inch, uh, and it's called like um, Anti Fascist Superstars. I heard you were a fan of slick seven, seven inches. inches. Yeah, I like a pink too. You know? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Before that was Andrew Smythe. Never heard of this. That was Andy was Smith. That? Mm. Yeah, dipshit, you may have heard of. Uh, <laughs> doing a song, doing uh, his cover of a song called A Diary is a Long-Winded Suicide Note by the band Tiger Hellicide. Those guys suck. Those guys are fantastic. <laughs> you are not worthy. I thought that was a different, kind of different, interesting cover. And before that was Old World Underground. That is... Uh... Jesse Norris's new band. Uh, what's the title it's of that track? Celebrity Love Songs. Yeah, it's That's really cool. awesome. I like the vibe of it. It kind of gives me a like uh, almost. I mean, maybe just word association, but time period wise as well, like some Velvet Underground vibes, but like later Velvet Underground. Yeah, it's very seventies, very mm-hmm. New York Dolls New kind York of sound. It's got some New York. Yeah, got some New York. So we have Rap and Randy. Hey guys, Rapid Randy's joining us on Gadcast Radio. I came here again. <laughs> we, have Rap, we have Rapid Randy on he the came. radio show. He saw. Uh, okay, and I came again. And he came again. <laughs> Constant coming. <laughs> um. So uh, the first song we played was a new band called Savant Hard. Yes. Right. Yes. Like Savant Hard. Avant Garde, but yeah. Savant. It features uh, Mr. Joshua Dodd. He's been in a bunch of bands, and he's a great sound guy. He's brought a whole lot of big, big shows to the Huntsville area, like Chuck Mosley and Crowbar and Michael Graves and Richie Ramone. And had an awesome Motorhead vibe going for yeah. it. Yeah, I was about to say, that song made my back hurt because it was fucking heavy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the song, song is called No Remorse. No Remorse. Yeah. He shows no remorse for your fucking wussy back <laughs> you don't even give a damn blowing so, people's backs out that's right oh, yeah. don't you touch the goddamn table I know God. Why, why do we even have a table if we can't touch we need, we need coasters we need, ah! we need to hang a mic down like we did last time <laughs> dangle a mic down I'm gonna hang my coffee from the same okay so you might be asking <laughs> Why do we have a guest on our radio show and we barely talk on this thing? Well, we're going to talk a little bit more this time. Also, our guest, Rapid Randy. Yeah. Hi, Rapid Randy. Hi, Adam Harmless. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Adam Harmless. Uh, Rapid Randy has brought some music. Rapid Randy used to uh, promote book shows, do everything at 1213 Rock Show. Very, very, very important venue in Alabama. Punk rock and underground music history. Sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but it's Thank true. you for having me over again. Always uh, happy to have you. Yeah, it's in great our, being here. A little I nest. brought some CDs, and yeah. you guys can yeah. take a look at them and see what you want to play. So the relics I yeah. brought you. We're going to sort through this stuff. So lots of, lots of cool music from the past. So we open with a whole bunch of new music. And now we're going to take you back in time. Yeah. And so, Sorry, I feel uh, like I had to do the flashback noise. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so anyway, here's some, uh, back in uh, time, some of that music we were just talking about.
7 a.m. that morning, and I was watching Saved by the Bell. And next thing I knew, the Zack Attack came on and played my favorite song. And it all hit me, like, you know, Jesus coming down from the sky and saying Merry Christmas and stuff. But it wasn't like that. It was about friends. <laughs> Friends forever, we will always be together It's true, friction never ends, it never ends Friends forever, we will always be together And we will always be the best of friends, the best of friends, the best of Safety belt and hold me tight. Why?
song was uh pretty intense um well, for the <laughs> yeah for the moment they're a gadsden band uh, or they were a gadsden band gadsden history uh formerly known as the angry housewives which uh you also heard them in the block as well but uh, before yeah. that um was model citizen model citizen pre-rapid uh, randy yes this was uh <laughs> before i was in the band I believe this track is exclusive to this compilation here that we've got our hands on. It's called that Brad Terms. Reed put out. Uh, Boxcars on first? Is that what it's called? Boxcars on first. Yeah. Volume one, an Alabama compilation. Did you yeah. play bass in the band or? Um... Yeah, I played bass in Model Citizen on the Save It for the Campfire cool, album. Cool. Um, but this was before I came into the band and. Yeah, this song is it. Uh, Terms is the song title, and it is exclusive to this comp. That's pretty cool. I used to. I, I don't think I had this comp, but I had a. Maybe I had a copy of this comp. So the it was art, all over the place. Art is so freaking familiar. I'm looking at like as soon as we pulled this out, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, it was, it was all over the place. I was like, oh yes, M O O N. That spells boxcars. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's very weird. Also from that comp, which this is what we've done the last three episodes, is just snatch shit off of comps, because that makes it easier to make a playlist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like the playlist is already there. Yeah. Uh, for that was Daikaiju with Super X9, long running... Surf band, Surf yeah, band. from Huntsville, great band. Hunt I believe style. they relocated to Nashville a few years ago. Mm -hmm. They still come around, raise hell every once in a while. Yes, everybody likes them, and if you don't like them, that means you're a no good piece of shit, like Andy. <laughs> Except Andy likes them, so he's yeah. not even as bad as you. Yeah. And before that was Tree Fort, friends forever. From the uh, Christmas album called Christmas Ponderosa. Christmas Ponderosa. Mm -hmm. So it's not a Christmassy tune. We're going to play the Christmassy tune some other time. Uh, yes. Assuming that there is a Christmassy tune on there. There is, isn't there? Yes, it's a three song. Yeah, nice. 
Nice. But that will get you in the Christmas yeah. spirit. We're going to have to have a Christmas episode. We've got some more Christmas yeah. stuff. We, got we our have own, our own Christmas. We have our own Christmas stuff that played last episode, and that makes me a bastard. But and then, it's that time of the year. Yeah, but we have the Tree Fork Christmas stuff, and then there's a, oh, we also have some uh, Johnny and the Black Frames Christmas stuff. Yes. Oh, and Nowhere Squares has a Christmas song oh, yeah. as well. Do they? I'll know about that. Yes, yeah. I haven't got it off Bandcamp. It's awesome. Nice. 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 Free gotcha. download on Bandcamp, Nowhere Squares. We'll have to have a, a Christmas Christmas episode for uh, Arbor Day. Yes. Um. Okay. And before uh, that excellent tree fort song was the aforementioned Angry Housewives <coughs> with Ziploc. Uh, they are the fellows that became Gainer. Yeah, yes. that song goes hard. And then they're, just they're from Gadtown. Yes. Gadtown. They're like they're like dinosaurs. They're like the they're like saber tooth tiger, Swords. tiger hellicides. <laughs> Except they're nothing like us in any way. They're, 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 they're like the street sharks. <sighs> street sharks. Wait, isn't street shark from? Isn't yeah, that that's a Jacksonville band. That's a Jacksonville a few band. Years ago. Oh, street shark. Well, shit. Well, they were also a TV show and a. I know. Thing I that's obsessed, what the band was named after. That's pretty street awesome. Shark. They were good. They were good. We got to get some of their we stuff play on some the show. Street sharks Holy then. shit! We're just talking about like <laughs> talking about bands that aren't. Well, if in you hear episode. this, Street Shark, get yeah. <laughs> in touch with the Gad Cast, yeah. Gad Rock, yeah, we, radio show here. We yeah, because <laughs> I, yeah, they, I liked them too. Do I not have any of their shit? This is dope. Do I not? Am I just talking like I'm not being recorded? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any questions? Before that. Was Slop Rocket with Davey, and we uh, we, we like love our Slop Rocket. They later became frontman in the Afterthoughts. Uh, that's who they are currently. A great band, great from band, Montford. Didn't someone cover one of their songs? Uh, it might have been oh, yeah. that yes. was me. Yes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rapid Randy. Revival. I covered Davey at. My last performance that played with you guys at that show, That's and I actually got the Slop Rocket Boys on stage with me to do it. That nice. is awesome, Thanks, guys. All right, book well, them. Uh, hmm, maybe we should play some more great music. Godcast Radio. <laughs> Something's snapping, saw my brain And nothing will ever be the same Try to play cool, but I have so lame And I stay in my room instead of staying up late Ain't all the food in the cabinet Drink all the booze, but I'm not drunk yet Try to smooth, try what you said You know I'm not wreck over what you did What you did I'm not over what you did What you did I'm not over what you did I'm not over what you did I'm not over what you did Since 
my chest Held it inside All that I had to say No one listened to me So I was just thinking How that it is all over now I was just thinking How that it is all over Tune was me. That's, <laughs> that's, what the fuck are you doing over there? Who is me? Listen, who no, that was, who is that? Was Adam first in the game. Adam <laughs> Harmless <laughs> Solo. Adam yeah. Harmless Solo, did you ever feel Andy chose that one? I did not choose that one. My ego is massive, but it does actually have some boundaries. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha Guess which so, part of his body he named his ego. Yes. So, but that, uh, that song was from my album beautiful day monsters which i wrote every time i was pissed off or really really depressed and it's and you can amazing. feel it yeah I'm, i got kind of bummed out a lot i was sad but we needed a sad song after the one that you played of my sad songs yes yes we have a, a, a randy sad song that's not weird yeah uh, right. but but uh attack on radio crown me yes crown me that song was a bit of a downer it was a bit of a downer, so we needed something even more down to Just, take us into the deep depths of hell. Yeah. That's some true emo music later. Oh, he used, a, he used the word. He used the word. Uh, <laughs> I, I like emo, though. Like, emo. Well, yeah, I like, mean, that's, that's, like, that's what I would have called it at the time when well, I wrote it. So. Here's, here's the thing. This is, uh, the first place I ever heard the word emo was actually from a man named... Rapid Randy Hughes. Oh, you're the first one who ever told me about emo. And I, here's the thing: I you think were telling the term. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Sure, why not? <laughs> Hell, let's do this. No, uh, but but Randy, uh, but Randy was telling me about like this but music called emo, and it's like it's like it's really emotional. And I'm like, that's probably why it's called emo. Yeah, it's like it's really emotional. <laughs> I promise you, I didn't put so, that together. Yeah, but but uh, but but he's like. But he's telling me about it. It's like it's really super emotional music, and it's like it's like punk rock, but it's like super emotional. And I was just like, "Holy shit!" Like that really sounds like what I'm all about. You were thinking like The Cure. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like yeah, like like The Cure mixed with like like the heaviest, noisiest punk rock, yeah. just ripping out their soul and stuff. And then then first time I heard emo, I was like, "That's not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not it at all." Yeah, like, so before my crying fest, what did we have before that? Before that? that was your retard, your Saint retards. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, disclaimer, disclaimer, um, which comes after what I said. <laughs> that, that was the band name that I chose when I was about seventeen, and yeah, uh, it meant you know total. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was funny at the time. At the time, it sounded funny. At the time, it was not as as bad to say it as well, it is now. But it still even wasn't though nice. it was, it I think it was punk rock of me to just go like, "Hey, fuck you," you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Jay Retard gets a pass. I mean, the retards. You know, and not that anybody's him. called me. They <laughs> yeah, killed him. They did kill. Not that anybody's called me out on it. No. I mean, mm-hmm. but uh, it's just a pre. It's just something later on that I was like, ooh, you know, I cringe at it now. Yeah. yeah. yeah but we did the uh, Triple X Files, which is about the yeah. X Files. Nice. And kind of influenced by the McRackens, which uh, we've talked about before, That's were nice. a big influence on me. Um, and before that, what did That's we have? Time. Before that was. The Pop Critics with Notes. Notes from a New Life by the Pop Critics. I played bass on that. Um, my friend Carter Christmas from Atlanta, Georgia. And um, we never played a show. Well, yeah, we played one show in Georgia without a rehearsal. And I went and recorded that album without a rehearsal. He just sent me an acoustic uh, recording of all the songs. And we went through it one day. Nice. It's still one of my favorite things that I've ever been a part of. Really good songwriter. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it. We'll have to play more later. Yeah. Another yeah. time. All right. Before that was NC Seventeen pointing fingers. Yes. Pointing fingers. Okay. Pointing fingers. That was the yeah, last in the sky. one. I think it was the last song on our second album, which people call the Squiggly album because of the artwork on it, but really it's the self-titled it's the squiggly second album. album. Yeah, so, <laughs> the, squiggly. so the Squiggly like, album it is. It's like the black album or the white album. It's the yeah. Squiggly album. That's that's what Carl and Neil call it, yeah. The Squiggly album. Who are the bandmates in the band, yes. Yes. It's All right. Was that the beginning of the set No, there? before that was... We're forgetting. Backseat, Backseat Virgins. Virgins. Oh, okay. Not over it from the album Carl Carl who we were just talking about yeah, that's the, the 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 less listened to of the of the two backseat versions I really like that track a lot uh, I think the lyrics are great and um, it's just I don't know that that album's got some some bite to it and what track is that Jesse um, it's the the not I mean the one where they say I'm not I'm not over it. <laughs> oh, I know the track number in 2018. Maybe if you got me in high school. I'd know. That's one of the last songs I wrote for the album. Mm-hmm. One of the last songs I wrote yeah. actually uh, for that band. Really? Yeah, maybe the last song I wrote for that band actually. It was a little angsty. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah, angsty it's just uh, not over. A breakup where she took my fucking dog, man. Yeah. But I did get the cat, so. You got the cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All about did cat. I curse? Was that bad? No, you can no. say fuck. No, I was going to say. Is, this is punk yeah, rock got the fucking dog. radio. But, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's. Um, is there anything uh, else you All guys right. want to discuss before we uh, wrap up the radio show? So we're going to play. Next, we're going to play the theme from Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, right? Um, no, so that would be some, cool. <laughs> we're gonna play great sister sniffle. Uh, no, oh, sniffle. just sniffle. Sniffle. Okay, so what is sniffle? 
Navneet Nita, however you know her, from Backseat Virgins. Um, she was she started out in a band called Sniffle with Justin from Them Natives. And after they stopped recording albums, she started doing the Sister Sniffle stuff. Uh, which you can see all of that on internet right now. Uh, all of her stuff's available. But, um... Ah, somebody's phone there. <laughs> so you can find all we the have sisters. A caller. <laughs> you can find all of the sister. <laughs> Line one. Uh, so yeah, you can find all of her stuff online, but you can't really find the Sniffle stuff, which uh-huh. is the band before. Oh, cool. So yeah, there's a track for you, and it's called I Know You Are, But What Am I? Influenced by the Pee Wee Herman line, I guess. In the <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, why does that sound familiar? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that is awesome. So... Enjoy that tune. Is that the last song we're playing? Yes. Enjoy that last song we're playing, and thank you very kindly to Rapid Randy Hughes for appearing on our GadCast Radio Cast Radio Cast Gab Radio. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> and thank you for JW for showing up. Hey, man, I'm here. And um, Andy Smith for letting us in to up. do this. Yeah, showed up, turned up. Yeah, all right. All right, well, GadCast Radio. Radio. Yeah. <laughs>